Hey there, this is me. This is my very first how-to video, but there will be more coming because I have more time now. Um, what I'm going to be making for you today are what are called... I call Christmas tree micro-explosives. They're relatively easy to make and safe if you detonate them right. And I'll tell you how to do that. So, what you're going to need is a Christmas tree light. Um, black powder, or in this case, pre-made pyrogen, just some kind of explosive. Um, sometimes I'll use the head of matches. They work just as fine. Um, a stone file. This has to be stone. It cannot be wood or metal. Just disintegrate the glass. Um, a source of ignition. For it, I just use a uh, model rocket igniter. And obviously safety goggles and super glue so um yeah okay first step is to cut the very tip off you do not want to cut close to the filament you want to take just very little as possible as little as possible off but enough so you still have room to fill it and cap it, so do it very carefully. It should come off relatively easily. Um, they usually just pop off, but sometimes they require more effort. There, see? It just pops off. And, um, just have something that looks just like that left. Just a little. So, um, has to be, uh, cannot be close to filament again. I, I can't push that enough. Okay. The next step is to take your pyrogen, or whatever you're going to use, black powder, I don't care, and just put it down on a piece of paper. Roll the paper up like this into like a funnel shape so you can easily file the paper in. Okay. Then you need to fill the Christmas tree bowl. Just carefully, without spilling, just fill it with whatever you're using. And once you're close to the top, just tap it down, and you should get a lot more in there than just that. This will take a while sometimes. Uh, keep filling until it's completely full. should have um, something that looks like that. There has to be a little space from the top. Okay. The last step, the second to last, is to cap it with the super glue. You take the super glue, you create a little ring or a little cap on top of the powder. It'll completely keep it from, it'll contain it. It'll keep it from exploding out instead of in, which is what you want it to do. So if it explodes out, it'll just go and it'll be like a firework. You don't want that. And it just keeps the powder from spilling, but you need to do it, so there. And uh, that's it. That's a pre-made, or that's a homemade Christmas tree micro-explosive. Now I'm going to go set one off. And now, um, I am inside my room, so I do not have, I'm not able to go outside to explode this. I have to do it inside, so I'm going to be putting it inside an old car refrigerator. You won't be able to see it, but you will be able to hear it. Hopefully. But, uh, okay, this is my car refrigerator. I've obviously exploded other things in here before. You can use whatever to explode. I use I used to, I sometimes I use car battery if I need a, a bigger charge. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so what you can do is the base of the Christmas tree light. Bend the two wires upwards. There should be two, and just pull the cap off like that. Spread the wires apart. 
put a your source of ignition. I use clips. I'd recommend doing that. If you don't do it, you can blow yourself up. And just attach it. Like that. And then uh I'd do it in the open if I could, but so just put it in your field or in your backyard, your porch or whatever you're gonna do. And uh make sure you wear safety goggles though. So, this is detonation of that firework we just made. Yeah. I think that one... Yeah, that one was a dud, sorry. I gotta do that again. See, if you don't pack it right, it'll become a dud and they're a piece of crap. So, I'm gonna do that whole procedure over it. Try that again. So I'm not going to completely shut the fridge just so it'll get some air in there. But uh, anyway, here we go. Test two. That was more like it. That's what it should look like at the end. So there we go. That was homemade Christmas tree explosive.